the most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine, is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapour. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you. It's raining. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh. NASA's playing God. It's making its own weather. This is the shuttle's fuel tank. It may only be 130 miles to space, but to cover that distance, the engines will use half a million gallons of fuel. And that works out at two feet to the gallon. However, NASA does need to test these engines once in a while. So they built this place in the wetlands of Mississippi. The first thing they installed was a huge loudspeaker, through which they played white noise to simulate the sound of a rocket. They then sent a number of trucks in different directions out into the wilderness and the drivers were ordered to stop when the noise levels became acceptable. This gave them an imaginary boundary line and anyone living on the inside of it was offered a simple choice. Stay and you'll never hear another television programme as long as you live. Or take the NASA shilling and get out. no one stayed and NASA ended up with exactly what it wanted 125,000 acres of nothing they even had to move five cemeteries because the noise they were planning on making would wake the dead by the engine is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapour. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you. It's raining. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh. NASA's playing God. It's making its own weather.